Hey, ka, hey, ka, hey, ka, hi everybody! I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'm going to be showing you on how to set up Feline's health bar prop in Wadudo so you can have some very dynamic uh, health um, health stuff. So let's say you got hit by a pinata and you want your character to die by getting yeeted across the room. Um, and yeah, the, and then the health bar is like showing that, oh no, you die. Or maybe you want <gasps> epic streamer boss fight. And then you have to have the chat toss uh, thousands of plushies at your character to end the streamer boss. Yeah, you can do that crazy stuff with Wadudo. And a uh, fun fact, this is also the same creator who made the Vignon health bar prop. So yeehaw. Anyways, how to set up the health bar. Well, first of all, you gotta have some interactions with your setup, of course, if you're gonna use this health bar prop, because how else will the health bar work? So definitely on the onboarding assistant, which I also have a tutorial on how to set up the redeems already, but basically you can have the interaction set up right here, uh, go through that process and auto-generate some nice, um, nice and simple redeem so that way we can utilize for the health bar. So that's some nice quick stuff or if you already have some pre-existing ones, you're already good to go. Um, now. Let's say um, I want where like the health bar will be um, tossed at my character. Obviously, that's like the sort of goal we want. We want we want it where pinatas or plushies will be hitting at us uh, with this health bar prop. So again, you have the idea of okay, you got your interactions. Now, how do we actually prepare the health bar? You may be asking. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the discover tab. Then you're going to go to the category all or the props one. Then you're gonna type in health right here and then you're going to click on feline's heart containers. You have to make sure that you are subscribed to this uh, so that way it can work. Um, you can also give them a like if you like. Also, um, you can even check out the little images here. They'll show you like an example of how to set up as you can see. So throw prop, damage health, and all that. So this is great to like get an idea like, okay, this is how it should be set up. But I'm still gonna show you anyways in case of confusion. Um, so make sure you have this uh, subscribed basically, yes. Then what you're going to do is that you're gonna go into your assets. Then you're gonna click on the plus button right here. And then you're gonna scroll down until you find interactables. Then you're going to click on health bar. If by any chance you don't see this health bar or the interactables tab at all, please restart your Wadado. It happened to me earlier where I tried to like get this working and it didn't work because uh, I had to re-download re the original version. Um, but basically, yeah, um, I, uh, I had to restart Wadado to get it fixed and it's fixed now. But interactables, health bar right here. All right. Then what you're going to do um, is that you're going to have it where, because right now, if you scroll out with your scroll wheel, you can see that, oh, look, the little health bar is right there. But I want it to be on my head, though, following my head everywhere I go. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to Transform Attachment, and you're going to click on here and connect it to your character. Then what you're going to do is you're going to um, use the arrow keys or even the Transform Panel here and adjust your health bar accordingly. Awa, awa. So, once you have that, then we can do some customization with it. So what we're going to do is we're going to set the appearance. So you can do health per heart uh, on how much health that your, you know, how much health that your heart has in terms of visuals, or as you can see, literally it's just doing this. Wah, 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 wah. Um, but once you have that, basically, this is mainly best, especially like, uh, if you're going to be adding some more containers, oh god, and you need to add like, um, you need to add like more, um, more like health per the heart stuff basically. Because if you want like that epic boss battle, right, where like you have a lot of hearts and all that, yeah, you're definitely gonna have to be like saying it something like this so you have maximum health so that you would definitely just say just play with the sayings honestly but here's like an example if you want the epic boss battle health bar thing but otherwise i usually just leave most of the sayings at default to be honest um but again to each your own you can customize it however you like just mess with it uh how many containers um how many hearts you have how much health you have and so on and so on so um, but with that though, basically, um, 
what you're going to then do after you mess with the appearance, however you like it. Um, then you can set it to be auto hide. Um, so like, let's say you want it where, you know, when you get hit, the health bar appears, so it's not always there being obtrusive. You could definitely have auto hide enabled and after four seconds uh, of it appearing, it'll disappear. So yeah, um, so pretty much, but otherwise though, um, Pretty much for now, we're just going to set this as no because we do want to see it for testing. You can then change the colors of your heart. So let's say um, you can have the inner heart here to be like blue or something like that or purple even. I'm going to set mine to blue. You can have like the outline of the hearts or what they call the rim light. Uh, not rim light, the rim of the, um, the hearts basically. Uh, you can have that to be a different color. Let's say this one here. Then you can have empty color. This is referring to if you, let's say, lost, um, if you lost some health, basically, you could set the color for that. Let's say we can have it be red for that case. And again, I'm just choosing random colors. Again, just you do you. Um, but once you have that, then you can set up the damage. So once your hearts get damaged or anything like that, you can set the color or anything like that. I'll just leave it as white for this case. So yeah, but just mess with the colors however you like, basically. Um, so once you have that, we now need to make it functional. So go ahead and enable auto hide now um, because now we have to do some testing stuff with it. So uh, what you're going to do now is you're going to go ahead and uh, find an, uh, an interaction or like sort of like um, a redeem that you made in your blueprint, whether it's throw props or even water. Um, and I, I'm not sure about the water. Let me, let me actually check that one actually. Yeah, no, you can't do it with water. It has to be a node that has the on collide. So we need this little guy to, you know, do some stuff for us basically. So if you, um, so anywhere where you can see like on collide, basically, definitely you can utilize a health bar for that. I mean, you can still use it for other stuff if you know what you're doing or depending on what your goals are. But for the most part, just to keep it simple, especially for beginners, find any node that has the on collide and then definitely you can use it for the health bar prop. But it's mainly like definitely for like, you know, when props are thrown at you and such. So yeah. Um, but otherwise though, what we're going to do is we're going to look up health. Now these are all of the nodes here that Feline has provided for us, such as damage health, gain the um, health bar data, heal health, all these other um, stuff. And this is really great for control and all that, but we're not gonna go over every node here. I'm just only gonna go over the, the ones that you're probably gonna use the most, but as you advance, you probably can explore and mess with each of them. But basically the name should be very self-explanatory on what their actions are, like um, setting the heart fill color to be from dark blue to red if you want, like let's say a different character has to have a different color or something like that, you know, just an example. But basically though, for this case, we want, so if the prop hits us, it will damage our health. Um, so we're gonna click and drag the damage health node here. We're gonna have on collide to enter. And then what we're going to do is that um, you can set the health bar here. Um, again, you could also have it, um, it should also work fine if you do this too, cause it's just gonna flow like from the follow to the prop and all that. But again, I usually prefer to do it with on collide, but again, it's just a matter of preference. You do you on what you want. But, um, basically though, uh, you can have it set to where, uh, one prop will hit you and it'll be doing one damage or even five damage. So once we press on throw prop, it will actually, um, it will actually like hurt our avatar basically, as you can see. But the problem is though, is that we also don't have a way where if the health is damaged, like to where we don't have any more health, we want it where our character flies into the sky or something like that, and then it recharges our health bar. So let's make that. So what you're gonna do is you're going to click on the on health depleted, choose your health bar, and then you're going to find the activate ragdoll right here. Choose your character and connect the health bar depleted right here um, to enter. 
FO. And then what you're going to do is you can, of course, mess with the settings however you like or something like that. So I'm just going to set up like some random values here. Then what we're going to do is that we're going to have a delay flow. Um, so I believe it was, yeah, this one. So the delay uh, control flow. So this will basically we're telling Wadudo that after five seconds, we want our health to be recharged after getting yeeted. Um, so do keep in mind, there is a reset wait time. You can set this to be longer number or shorter, um, but definitely we'll leave it at five and then we'll have this as five seconds. Then um, we're going to have it, we're going to go back to health. And then what we're going to do is we are going to set it to heal our health instead. So connect exit to enter, set the health bar. And then depending on how much health that your uh, health bar has, um, so I would say like, it depends on what your original one is. It, this one tells you what your current health is right now. Um, but we can set, so it's, um, when it, you know, um, when you're basically healed, like after that eating, it will be back to like 20 or something like that. So we'll set it to 20 for our case. Um, but basically though, once you have that, we're going to go ahead and hit our character. And well, I just fell into infinity. Well then. And there you go. After five seconds, my health bar has uh, respawned, even though I, I fell into the abyss. But I'm also going to tell you how you can actually prevent your character from falling to infinity. Because with Water, though, there is no default collider, like for floor collider or ragdoll specific collide on the floor. You have to make your own. Again, Wadato is a very intense program. But don't worry though, someone uh, named Sprite actually made us a collider floor. I'm going to show you where you can get that. So once you uh, again have the damage health and then you also have this going on, you're going to go into the discover tab here. And then you're going to type in collider. Then you're going to go over here to Floor Collider, click here, and then you're going to click on uh, Subscribe, so that way you can get that um, this Collider here. This will definitely be very beneficial. Then you're going to go into Assets, click on the plus button here, and then find the props, so add a prop. Then what you're going to do is you're going to go to Source, click on Preview Gallery, scroll all the way down until you find, I believe the steam workshop here and then find the one that says floor collider right here and click on that then once you have that um what you're going to then do pretty much is you're going to scroll down to meshes and click on yes here this will actually show you how your um your floor looks like so you can scale it to a big number now i'm going to tell you right now don't be that kind of person that just says one hundred thousand i don't recommend making the scale that big like just keep it reasonable uh let's say just a scale 100 or just um i don't know 20 is probably enough maybe even 15 just don't make the number too big and even then though unless you have a whole city um as your world and you're just walking around and such which i guess it would make sense just keep in mind just don't set up an overly high value don't don't do that. You, you'll probably overwhelm water do just by making a too big value. So keep that in mind. But otherwise, though, there you go. You got a floor collider. And then all you have to do is set no to the visible and the rigid bot, the collider should work. Definitely make sure to set the collision detection to be yes. Um, so there you go. And then once you have that, we're going to then beat up our model again. So I'm going to zoom out. Then I'm going to spam the living frick out of my model. And there you go. The floor works. Now you have proper, now you have a very proper um, health bar setup. And also you don't f uh, fall down to infinite. So yeah. Um, overall though, that's pretty much how you set up the health bar. Now again, you can do a lot more advanced stuff with it. But in a nutshell, that's pretty much it. You can even have it, obviously. It doesn't, like I said, um... It doesn't have to be exclusive to throw props. Let's 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 actually try with a liquid actually. Um real quickly. 
Let's see. Where's where's the lick with that? Let, let's let's do that. Uh, I want. I'm, I'm curious myself. I want to see this. So after this, I want it where. Uh, let's say, yeah, the damage of five. I, I want to see this. If liquid hits me, yeah, there you go. See, it damages my health. Oh my god, I can't believe water damaged my brain cells. Uh, anyways, um, either way, uh, yeah, so it's not ex again, not, not, I just want to make sure it's not exclusive to the on collide. Usually, I use the on collide, but this could be for anything. You can even have an, your own custom animation, right? Of, let's say, um, you have like a hammer, like a giant mallet or something, and it hits your character, and then when that animation plays, it will like deplete your health in a sequence. Remember, these nodes play as like a sequence, so yeah. But otherwise, though, pretty much that is how you can set up the health bar uh, prop from Feline, so you can have much more dynamic um, health bar with water dough basically and i hope that this tutorial helps you out also quickly you can just rename the assets here by clicking that button and set this to health to avoid confusion so we'll rename there otherwise though i hope that this tutorial helps you out and i hope you have a lovely day and i'll see you guys next time bye bye Thank you to all my Snowflake members. In case you don't know, I have YouTube membership. So if you want to further support this channel and what I do, then feel free to join the Snowflake members. Otherwise, though, just your support means so much to me and I appreciate every ounce of it. Either way, though, with that being said, though, heek, 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 bye bye, everyone. I hope to see you guys next time, okay? Bye bye.